Hi, I'm Barbie. Let's make some fun clothes for me to wear. Click anywhere on the screen to begin. Making clothes for me is really easy and fun. Let me show you around. First, we'll choose a theme to design an outfit for. We can create something for all kinds of events. From fancy date dresses to cool vacation clothes. Let's pick Dream Day. We can pick out something to wear in the clothing workshop. You can create any kind of look you want by clicking on the arrow button. Then we can go to the accessories workshop to complete our outfit. There are all kinds of great accessories to choose from. The fabric design workshop is where we choose cool designs to decorate our fashion. We'll pick out some fun colors in the color workshop. Then, we'll add the colors we've chosen to the outfit. We can see a preview of how our beautiful new fashion will look. And I can even model the new design in a glamorous fashion show. We'll keep all my outfits in the closet where we can look through and pick out your favorite. We can print out your fashions on the special Barbie fashion fabric and you can make an outfit that I can really wear. Easy to follow instructions show you all the steps you'll need to make and decorate your new outfit. With a little time and effort, you can create a We're going to have so much fun together designing new clothes for me to wear. Are you ready? Let's get started. This is the theme workshop. Click on any one of the flashing buttons to choose what kind of outfit we'll make together. Totally trendy. Dream date. Party surprise. Cool careers. Vacation fun. Wedding fantasy. Totally trendy. This is the clothing workshop. Click on any of the flashing clothing buttons to create a totally trendy new outfit. Shirts. Jacket. Dresses. Skirts. Pants. Change. This is the Accessories Workshop. Click on any of the flashing accessories buttons to pick out some fun accessories. Purses and bags. Belts. Wraps. 
shoes. Great. You can add as many accessories as you like. Or click on the flashing fabric square to make cool fabric designs. Oops! The accessory you just picked doesn't work with the clothes I was wearing before. If you want to change my outfit back to the way it was, click on the reset button. This is the Fabric Design Workshop. You can click on any of the Fabric Design squares to choose a fabric design for my new outfit. Or click on the arrows for more choices. That looks great. Now click anywhere on my new outfit and it will fill with the fabric design you picked. Beautiful! You can change the fabric design in my outfit as many times as you like. To erase a fabric design and make it go away, first click on the flashing eraser button. Then click on the part of my outfit you want to erase. You This is the color workshop. Let's pick some of your favorite colors to color my new outfit. Click on any of the flashing color markers to choose a color. You can choose more colors by clicking on the other small color markers. When you're ready to color my outfit, click on the big color marker you want to use first. If you'd like to change the color of one of the big color markers, first click on the big color marker you'd like to change. Then, click on a small color marker to choose your new color. Remember, the new color will replace the old color in my outfit. You can change colors as many times as you like, or you can go back and create something new by clicking on any of the flashing design buttons. To see me pose in this outfit, click on the dressing room button. To see me model this outfit in a fashion show, click on the fashion show button. To print this outfit, click on the print button. You can change cup. When you're ready to leave the dressing room, click anywhere on the screen. I'm getting dressed for the fashion show. It's going to take a few minutes for me to get ready. If you don't want to wait for the fashion show, click on the exit button to return to the screen you are on. Watch me model my new outfit again. Click on the repeat button. This is the closet where I keep all my clothes. To see more cool trendy clothes, click on a hanger or click on the flashing arrow buttons. If you'd like to get rid of an outfit, 
you can give it to charity by clicking on the charity basket. To see outfits from another theme, click on a different theme button. Or click on the middle spotlight to look through all my outfits in the closet. Party surprise! Totally trendy! You can look through the closet as much as you like. To see me pose in this outfit, click on the dressing room button. To When you're ready to leave the dressing room, click anywhere on the screen. To watch me model my new outfit again, click on the repeat button. When you're ready to leave the fashion show, click on the exit button. When you're ready to leave the fashion show, This is the theme workshop. Dream date. This is the clothing workshop. Click on any of the flashing clothing buttons to create a pretty new date outfit. Great! Next, click on the flashing arrows to see more choices. Or click on a different clothing button to pick something new. Change my outfit as many times as you like. Or Click on the flashing purse to add fun stuff to my new clothes. Oops! The clothes you just picked don't work with what I was... This is the accessories workshop. To rip you. This is the fabric design workshop. <laughs> Great! That beautiful! You can change the fabric design in my outfit as many times as you like. To erase a fabric design and make it go away, first click on the flashing eraser button. Then click on the part of my outfit you want to erase. You can also make the fabric designs change size by clicking on the magnifying glass button. Click on a fabric. You this is the color workshop. If you'd like to change the now, let's color my app. You can change color. When you're ready to leave the dressing room, click anywhere on the screen. I'm getting dressed for the fashion show. 
It's going to take a few minutes for me to get ready. If you don't want to wait for the fashion show, click on the exit button to return to the screen you are on. Watch me model my new outfit again. Click on the repeat button. When you're ready to leave the fashion show, this is the closet where I keep all my clothes. This is the theme party surprise. This is the clothing workshop. Click on any of the flashing clothing buttons to create a flashy new party outfit. Ch this Oops! The ex Beautiful! Now, you can choose more colors by clicking on the other small color markers. When you're ready to color my outfit, click on the big color marker you want to use first. You can change colors as many times as you like. marker will color my outfit white. Please finish my outfit before I pose in the dressing room. Don't forget my shoes. This is the accessory. Cool. You can add as many accessories as you like. When you're ready to leave the dressing room, click anywhere on the screen. You can change. When you're ready to. I'm getting dressed for the fashion show. It's going to take a few minutes for me to get ready. If you don't want to wait for the fashion show, click on the exit button to return to the screen you are on. To watch me model my new outfit again, click on the repeat button. When you're This is the theme workshop. Cool careers. This is the clothing workshop. Click on any of the flashing clothing buttons to create a cool new career outfit. Shirt Pants, jackets, skirts, 
costumes, uniforms, This is the Accessories Workshop. Click on any of the flashing accessory buttons to pick out some cool things to go with my new clothes. Purses and bags. Belts. Wraps. Shoes. Cool. Next, click on the flash. This is the Fabric Design Workshop. You can click on any of the Fabric Design squares to choose a fabric design for my new outfit. Or click on the arrows for more choices. Click on the fabric design you want to put on my new outfit. Or Click on the arrows again for more choices. Great. Click on a fa click on a fabric to beautiful. Click on a fa Now, let's color my outfit. You can... Sorry, you can't add color here. When you're ready to leave the dressing room, click anywhere on the screen. I'm getting dressed for the fashion show. It's going to take a few minutes for me to get ready. If you don't want to wait for the fashion show, click on the exit button to return to the screen you are on. To watch me model my new outfit again, click on the repeat button. When you're ready to leave the fashion show. This is the theme workshop, vacation fun. This is the clothing workshop. Click on any of the flash. Cool. Change my outfit is. This is the accessories workshop. Great. You
you can... When you're ready to leave the dressing room, click. I'm getting dressed for the fashion show. It's going to take a few minutes for me to get ready. If you don't want to wait for the fashion show, click on the exit button to return to the screen you are on. To watch me model my new outfit again, click on the repeat button. This is Wedding Fantasy. This is the clothing workshop. Click on any of the flashing clothing buttons to create a beautiful new wedding outfit. Glamorous wedding dresses. Royal wedding dresses. Fancy wedding dresses. Shoulder puffs. Romantic wedding dresses. Jackets. Great! Next, click on the flashing arrows to see more choices. This is the accessories workshop. Tur you can add as Welcome to Ask Barbie. You can click anywhere on the screen to return to where you were. You can click on any one of the accessories buttons to choose cool accessories for my new outfit. Then, click on either of the two arrows to see all the choices for that accessories button. Click on a new accessories button and the arrows to try on the other accessories. You can click twice on the same accessories button to make things disappear. Click on the reset button to change my outfit back to the way it was when you started the accessories workshop. This is the accessories workshop. Click on any of the flashing accessory buttons to pick out some pretty things to go with my new clothes. Wraps. Gloves. Bouquets, shoes, belts, headpieces, bows, This is the Fabric Design Workshop. The if you'd like... You can check...
when you're ready to leave the dressing room, click anywhere on the screen. I'm getting dressed for the fashion show. It's going to take a few minutes for me to get ready. If you don't want to wait for the fashion show, click on the exit button to return to the screen you are on. To watch me model my new outfit again, click on the repeat button. This is the print workshop. To make a real outfit that I can wear, click on the print pattern button. To print my new outfit on a coloring book page, click on the print picture button. This is the print pattern workshop where you can make your new design out of real fabric for me to wear. If you've never made a Barbie fashion designer outfit before, let's do one together. To learn step-by-step -step how to make a complete practice outfit, click on the Assembly Tips button. If you've made Barbie fashion designer outfits before, it's always smart to read through the instructions and listen to the helpful hints before you begin. That way, you can make sure you have everything you need. To print the instructions for the outfit I'm wearing, click on the Instructions button. This is the Assembly Tips Workshop, where I'll show you step-by-step -step how easy it is to make an outfit. First, let's choose something to make together. If you've never made a Barbie fashion designer outfit before, Click on the flashing outfit button to get started. Or click on another button to choose something else we can make together. This is the Assembly Tips Workshop. First, let's print out a pattern for your practice outfit so we can make it together. Place a sheet of the Barbie fashion fabric into the manual feed slot on your printer. Remember, you can't use any other fabric but the Barbie fashion fabric. Ask an adult if you need help. When you're ready, click on the printer button to print your pattern. Or, if you don't want to print a pattern and just want to look through the instructions, click on the Go Forward button. Making clothes is easy and fun. Let's look at your patterns first. As you can see, they're a little funny looking, but we'll fold them and put them together into a real outfit just like the one on the front of the Barbie Fashion Designer box. You can start to see how your outfit will look after you've done some of the steps. There are two sides to the Barbie Fashion fabric, the pretty side and the underside. The pretty side is the side you will color and decorate. As we're making the outfit, sometimes we'll turn the pattern over and work on both sides but we'll always make sure the pretty side shows when you're finished. Now, let's make an outfit together so you can see how it's done. First, let's make a circle skirt. Ready? Great! Let's get started! If you haven't done this before, you may want to ask a grown-up to help you. If you are coloring or decorating your new outfit, it's easier to do it now before you cut it out. Decorate your pattern with the art supplies from your Barbie Fashion Designer Kit or with your own supplies. If you use tulip paint, let it dry for 24 hours before cutting the pattern out. Cut the skirt pattern out along the solid outside line using your safety scissors. Make sure you cut only along the solid outside line. The dotted lines are for folding and decoration. Put your fingernail between the fabric and the paper backing and gently peel the paper backing off the fabric. 
You may want to flatten the fabric down with your hand when you have finished peeling. You will need a pair of safety scissors, a sheet of seam stickers, and one set of the white hook and tan loop stickers from your Barbie Fashion Designer Kit. A set is one white hook sticker and one tan loop sticker. Lay the skirt fabric flat on the table with the pretty side facing up, the same way as the picture on the screen. Pick up your sheet of seam stickers and look at them. They look like a string of dots. Cut one seam sticker four dots long and peel from the sticker sheet. The bottom side is the sticky side. Place the seam sticker sticky side down along the right straight edge of the skirt. Rub the seam sticker down with your fingernail. That makes it stick really well. Get one hook and loop sticker set from your Barbie Fashion Designer Kit. Rub them with your fingers. The white prickly squares are called hook stickers and the fuzzy tan squares are called loop stickers. Peel the paper backing off the white hook sticker. Place the white hook sticker sticky side down on the white square. White hook stickers always go on the white squares. Rub down with your fingernail. That makes it stick really well. Peel the paper backing off the tan loop sticker. Place the tan loop sticker sticky side down on the black square. Tan loop stickers always go on black squares. Rub, turn your skirt over so the pretty side faces down. Cut a seam sticker nine and a half dots long and peel from the sticker sheet. Press the seam sticker sticky side down along the right straight edge of the skirt. Rub the seam sticker down with your fingernail. Peel the paper backing off the seam sticker. It should leave a sticky glue on your fabric. Fold the edge of the skirt back along the dotted fold line. The white hook sticker should now be facing up. Press hard to make sure the two sides stick together. Turn the skirt over so the pretty side faces up. Peel the paper backing off the seam sticker at the edge of the skirt. Fold the left side over on top of the right side so the bottom edges line up. Press hard to make sure the two sides stick together. You're done! What a cute skirt! Put it around your Barbie doll's waist and fasten it by putting the hook and loop stickers together. Now you know a lot of the different steps it takes to make the pretty clothes you'll design for me. Now let's finish the outfit and make the halter top. Let's practice some of the steps we've just learned and make a halter top. If you are coloring or decorating your new outfit, it's easier to do it now before you cut it out. Decorate your pattern with the art supplies from your Barbie Fashion Designer Kit or with your own supplies. Cut the halter top pattern out along the solid outside line using your safety scissors. Peel the paper backing off the fabric. You may want to flatten the fabric down with your hand when you've finished peeling. You will need a pair of safety scissors, a sheet of seam stickers, and three sets of the white hook and tan loop stickers from your Barbie Fashion Designer Kit. Lay the halter top fabric flat on the table with the pretty side facing up. Cut two seam stickers, each four and a half dots long, and peel from the sticker sheet. Place one of the seam stickers sticky side down along the left cutout. Rub the seam sticker down with your fingernail. That makes it stick really well. Don't peel off the paper backing just yet. Place the other seam sticker sticky side down along the right cutout. 
Rub the seam sticker down with your fingernail. Don't peel off the paper backing just yet. Take the three white hook stickers and three tan loop stickers from your Barbie Fashion Designer Kit. Remember, the hook stickers are white and prickly, and the loop stickers are tan and fuzzy. Peel the paper backing off the white hook stickers. Place the white hook stickers sticky side down on the white squares. Rub down with your fingernail. That makes it stick really well. Peel the paper backing off the tan loop stickers. Place the tan loop stickers sticky side down on the black squares. Rub down with your fingernail. You're doing great! Turn your halter top over so the pretty side face is down. Cut a seam sticker one and a half dots long and peel from the sticker sheet. Press the seam sticker sticky side down behind the white hook sticker at the next strap. Rub the seam sticker down with your fingernail. Peel the paper backing off the seam sticker. It should leave a sticky glue on your fabric. Fold the edge of the fabric back. The white hook sticker should now be facing up. Press hard to make sure both sides stick together. Cut a seam sticker five dots long and peel from the sticker sheet. Place the seam sticker sticky side down along the side of the halter top behind the two white hook stickers. Rub the seam sticker down with your fingernail. We're almost done! Peel the paper backing off the seam sticker. Fold the edge of the fabric back along the dotted fold line. The white hook stickers should now be facing up. Press hard on the white hook stickers to make sure both sides stick together. Now, let's make two darts in the halter top to make it fit perfectly. Turn your halter top over so the pretty side faces up. Peel the paper backing off the left seam sticker. Fold the left side of the halter top over so the curved edges of the cutout line up. Press hard to make sure both sides stick together. You just made your first dart. Now we'll make the other dart the exact same way. Peel the paper backing off the right seam sticker. Fold the right side of the halter top over so the curved edges of the cutout line up. Press hard to make sure both sides stick together. You're done! What a cute halter top! You can put it on your Barbie doll and fasten the hook and loop stickers together. Remember to try the easy patterns first to get more practice. If you need help with any of the printed instructions, click on the light bulb on the print workshop screen to reach your helpful hints. If you need more practice, you can always make this outfit with me again. This First, let's look at what comes in your Barbie Fashion Designer Kit. Percale Fabric Sheet. Feel it. It's a rougher fabric. It's cotton and it will be easier to cut. It's better for your trendy, vacation and casual outfit. Trico Fabric Sheet. Feel it. It's the silkier fabric. It's nylon and might be more difficult to cut. It's better for your dresses and more glamorous outfits. White Tulle Netting. This see-through material is called tulle. This material makes pretty wedding veils. A sheet of seam stickers. Seam stickers look like rows of dots. You will use seam stickers to make your fabric stick together.
Hook and Loop Sticker Set. Hook and Loop Stickers are used for opening and closing Barbie clothes. They are sticky on one side, so you can attach them to your clothes. One yard of skinny 1 8 inch ribbon. The skinny ribbon is used for making bows and streamers for your clothes. You can color it with your markers to make it a different color. One yard of wide 1 4 inch ribbon. The wider ribbon is used for making bows, shoulder straps, and stripe trim for your clothes. You can color it with your markers to make it a different color. A tube of silver tulip paint. Tulip paint is used for gluing on bows and rosettes, decorating your fabric design, and finishing edges of clothes. Remember to keep the bottle upside down and remember it takes up to a day to dry. Check to make sure it's dry before you continue making your outfit to make sure it doesn't smear. White sequins. These are perfect sequins for your glamorous outfits, especially wedding dresses. Colored sequins. These sequins are great for your party dresses or anything you'd like to decorate. Ribbon rosettes. Rosettes make pretty decorations for my evening clothes and my wedding dresses. Fabric markers. Pink, purple, blue, and yellow. These markers are great for decorating small areas of your fabric design. Make sure that you keep inside the lines of your fabric design so that they don't smear. Barbie shoes. Have fun trying different looks with your new Barbie shoes. Pumps for dressy clothes and tennis shoes and hiking boots for trendy and casual clothes. Now that we've seen what's in your kit, let's look at your seam stickers. Seam stickers come on a sheet and are used to glue two pieces of fabric together. You can hold up your seam sticker sheet next to the seam sticker diagrams on your pattern to cut the correct length. Or just count your dots and cut. Your seam sticker is like sticky tape. It's sticky on both sides. You'll peel it from the seam sticker sheet to show the first sticky side. When you rub the seam sticker down onto your fabric, the glue from the sticky side stays on the fabric. When you peel off the paper backing from a seam sticker, always check that the glue is on the fabric. If your seam is longer than a full seam sticker, or if you don't cut a seam sticker long enough, just cut another sticker to fill out the rest of the seam. Now, let's look at the hook and loop stickers. Take two small squares, a white one and a tan one. Rub them with your fingers. The prickly white squares are called hook stickers, and the fuzzy tan squares are called loop stickers. When you put a white hook sticker on top of a tan fuzzy sticker, they stick together and make a set. Peeling off the paper backing gives the hook and loop stickers a sticky side. White hook stickers always go on white squares, sticky side down, and tan loop stickers always go on black squares, sticky side down. Now, let's talk about some of the steps we'll use to make your Barbie outfit. Some of the outfits use ribbon for making straps, bows, or stripes. On those patterns, you will see a straight black line with arrows on each end. This is a ribbon guide that tells you how much ribbon to cut for your pattern. Hold your ribbon up to it with one end of the ribbon even with one of the arrows. Cut the ribbon the same length as the ribbon guide. 
If there is more than one ribbon needed, there will be more ribbon guide. Make sure you use the ribbon width that the pattern calls for. When a blouse or dress has ribbon straps, the pattern will have a ribbon strap guide to show you where the ribbons are attached to the fabric. When you cut out the pattern, save the extra fabric with the ribbon guide printed on it. When it's time to attach the ribbon straps, lay the ribbon guide down flat on the table and lay the blouse or dress over it with the pretty side facing down, matching the edges. Stick the ends of the ribbon along the fabric edge where it's shown on the ribbon guide. Many patterns use what's called a dart to make clothes fit close to the body. You will see this funny looking V shape cut out often in my patterns. You will make darts by folding the fabric over at the point of the cutout so that the sides of the cutout line up. See how nice and fitted darts make my outfit. Some patterns have short black lines in the curved seams. These are called clip lines. Cutting clip lines makes the curved seams lay flat so that it's easier to put my clothes on. You will cut clip lines after you've put the fabric pieces together so the clip lines will only barely be seen through the fabric. Follow your picture instructions to show you where to clip the short lines. Cut tiny clips into your fabric and never cut past the seam line. Some of my fancier dresses have a full skirt or a kind of ruffle called a flounce. They might look a little tricky, but they're easy to make. You will match the curved top edge of the skirt or flounce to the straight bottom edge of the dress bodice. Pull the curved top edge straight as you attach it to the dress bodice. The bottom of the skirt or flounce will ruffle as its top edge is pulled straight, making it fluffy and pretty when it's finished. For finishing touches on many of my clothes, you will use ribbon bows. They're easy to make. First, find the center of the ribbon by folding it in half. Then, tie a knot in the center of the ribbon. Make a loop out of each tail. Cross the right loop over the left loop, making another loop at the bottom near the knot. Now bring the right loop forward. Pull the loop ends tight and shape the bow so the tails hang down. Now you know a lot about making Barbie fashion designer clothes. Let's get started making beautiful outfits. There are no more steps. Click on the Go Backward button to go back one step. Or click on the Stop button to leave the helpful hints. This is the Print Pattern Workshop, where you can make your new design out of real fabric for me to wear. This is the Coloring Book Workshop where you can print a picture of your new outfit on paper. If you'd like your name to be printed on your picture, type your name into the white box. If you need help, ask an adult to help you. You can choose between two different coloring book styles. To print a picture of me posing in my new outfit, click on the Picture Pose button. To print my new outfit on a fashion magazine cover, click on the Magazine Cover button. If you have a color printer and would like to print your design in color, click on the flashing color button. To print an uncolored design that you can color with the Barbie Fashion Designer markers, click on the flashing black and white button. Great! Click on the Go button to print your magazine cover. To make a real outfit that I can wear, click on the Print Pattern button. To design a new 
This is the coloring book. This is the theme workshop. <laughs>